The incredible ICRA 2023 Robot Exhibition took place in London. Especially for you, we took a trip into the world of the future and prepared a report about the most interesting developments and inventions that are already changing our world today. See a full review of the most interesting robots from the exhibition in one video. Fasten your seatbelts. Let's roll! At ICRA 2023, Canadian startup OneX's humanoid robots burst onto the scene, and there's an interesting story behind them. OpenAI, known for its ChatGPT language models, has invested a hefty sum into OneX to combine its artificial intelligence with humanoid robots, which could revolutionize the job market. Although OpenAI head Sam Almut claims that no one in the world today has a common AI, he apparently still wants to prepare in anticipation of a new breakthrough in technology and create a suitable body for future intelligent robots. OneX, formerly Helody Robotics, already has an EVE robot on a mobile wheeled base. The company even tried to launch an office security project with it, but its fate is still unclear. Perhaps the reason was that a robot on wheels in the real world would not be able to move around universally in an environment created for humans. A robot on legs, on the other hand, can. So we're waiting for a new robot with the original name Neo, with legs and a brain in the form of ChatGPT, or a new model from OpenAI. How about it, Elon Musk? And by the way, who do you think will be the first to release a universal intelligent humanoid robot? Tesla or OpenAI? The humanoid robot Amica once again proved its appeal to humans at ICRA 2023. Designed by the British company Engineered Arts and equipped with language models based on generative artificial intelligence, ChatGPT, the robot communicated freely with visitors and, surprisingly, drew. However, its artistic abilities, unlike facial expressions and speech, so far leave much to be desired. Amica boasts 32 degrees of freedom of the upper half of the body, and in the head of the robot alone, there are 17 actuators. He already understands and communicates in several languages, including French, German, Chinese, and Japanese. But what is still most striking about him is his amazingly realistic face, facial expressions, and body language. Engineered Arts founder Will Jackson emphasizes that Amica's goal is to mimic human communication making conversations interesting and natural. For example, a robot will never say, sorry, I didn't understand, please repeat the question, instead answering in a human way, huh? The current Amica model is available to everyone for about $100,000. But more interestingly, a full-size version that can walk and grab objects is in development. We're really looking forward to it. How much do you think a walking version of the robot will cost? Deep Robotics unveiled its newest intelligent dog robot, Light 3, at ICRA 2023. At Deep Robotics, we are very excited to showcase Light 3's advanced mobility and functionality, particularly its agility and balance when performing movements such as forward somersaults, said Zhen Chu, Chief Control Engineer at Deep Robotics. Light 3 is designed for educational and scientific research. Using the latest proprietary joints, control systems, and advanced algorithms deep in the cloud, it has stronger, more flexible, and more reliable motion capabilities. Light 3's open modular structure and interface make it adaptable and scalable, allowing it to develop advanced perceptual abilities such as autonomous navigation, visual positioning, and environmental reconstruction. Also on display was the X-20 robot, the latest version of the Deep Robotics Juying series, which has already been deployed for industrial use. Tasks it performs include power inspections, emergency rescue work, public safety inspections, tunnel, mining, and industrial site inspections, as well as construction site reconnaissance. We are committed to implementing automation in areas of work that involve high risk, but repetitive manual tasks, especially in extreme winter, hazardous conditions and natural disasters," said Zhen Chu. The 
There were several competitions during the show, including quadruped robot challenges. During the event, engineers demonstrated how to control the robots from a special station with a first-person view and the autonomous movement of robots on difficult terrain. There were other challenges that the robots handled with varying degrees of success. Although robot dogs have become something almost commonplace, robot engineers see great potential in them, both for training new personnel, experimentation and research, and for developing really useful applications, from industry to the service industry. How do you feel about four-legged robots? Write in the comments. Also spotted at the show were the social robot Ari from PAL Robotics for Public Spaces, the robot Tiago from the same company, the robot avatar iBotics from the University of Bonn, and the humanoid robot from the Italian Institute of Technology. Japanese professor Hiroshi Ishiguro's Geminoid robot also appeared at ICRA 2023, an exact replica of the professor himself. Ishiguro's robots are considered to be the most realistic in the world. By the way, Geminoid even gave lectures instead of the professor at Osaka University. The highlight of ICRA 2023 was a performance of the artist known under the pseudonym of Stellark. Among them, it combined human anatomy, robotics and art. The basis of the performances was a mechanism with 11 degrees of freedom, called extended arm, and a sensor bracelet. The extended arm, which mimics primate proportions, is pneumatically actuated and operated by a series of pre-programmed finger switches. A sensor wristband worn on the left hand provides another dimension of acoustic interaction, manipulating volume, notes, and even pitch modulations with a set of rotating pressure rings. In this way, each movement of the Stellark from hand to hand creates a unique sound from which to build a composition. Unitary Robotics brought its consumer and industrial robots to the show, and the largest high-capacity model, the B1, was presented in a version with wheels on all four legs. Interestingly, Unitary recently announced the completion of a B financing round worth several hundred million yuan. The company now has three consumer robots, the A1, the Go1, and the Benben. -Ben. The most popular of these, the Go1 robot, is equipped with an intelligent side-tracking system and a super sensor system. It has a top speed of about 4.7 meters per second and an adaptive payload of about 3 to 5 kilograms. And the price starts at just $4,500. Good afternoon, my name is Rich Walker and I'm from the Shadow Robot Company. At Shadow, we've spent over 25 years building hands for robots. Why do we want to build a hand for a robot? That seems crazy. After all, humans have hands, right? So why do robots need them? Well, because if robots are going to do the kind of tasks that humans can do, they need the same fine dexterity and manipulation skills that humans have. And so we get the shadow robot hand. 20 degrees of freedom, 24 movements, position sensing, joint sensing, force sensing, as close as we could make it to the same physical shape and size of the human hand with still the ability to do robotic manipulation tasks. It's used all over the world in robotics R&D. When we first built them, we thought we'll build a robot hand and people will be able to use it. What we didn't realize was how much work it would be to be able to use robot hands. Today, we're seeing deep learning technologies make robot hands really, really capable. It's a very exciting time in this field. We think that it's possible to unlock the potential of robot hands to do really interesting tasks in the world. Interestingly, Mark Reiber was seen, who was touching the company's robot with interest. Recall that the Atlas robot is just now in the need of nimble hands. By the way, Raybert came to the conference to tell his journey from the first bouncing robots to Atlas, Spot, and the AI Institute, and at the same time to show a tango performed by a couple of Spot robots. Direct Drive Tech unveiled its new Tita robot at ICRA 2023. So I would like to introduce our new robot, Tita. So for Tita robot, we have eight doors on this robot, so that we're not only making it as a bipedal wheel robot, but also a bipedal robot or a wheel robot. 
We can let the robot step in and go in through all the obstacles and make the robot to go everywhere we want. Also, we, do, we also have perceptions on the robot. Uh, we have ultrasonic, infrared and cameras so that the robot can not only have scan all the terrains we want, uh, but also let, let the robot to do a better decision making and make it to overpass all kinds of obstacles. Uh, and also with our batteries, uh, we can hot swap our, our batteries, which means that uh, when the robot is running, uh, we can change our batteries at the same time uh, and so that it can uh, walk to everywhere uh, forever. So compared with the first version of our first version of our robot, uh, we not only enhance the payload of the motors, we make it to uh, have a payload at about 5 kilograms to 20 kilograms, but also we, we enhance the speed. We uh, upgrade the speed of the motors. Uh, we, we can let the robot to run from 1.5 meter per second uh, and uh, from 1.5 meter per second to 5 meter per second uh, as we want it. Uh, and also we have a a more uh, abundant SDK interfaces so that uh, all the customers can use our interfaces to do their own second development. Researchers from Imperial College London and Emper brought to the show their cutting-edge development of 3D drones, dubbed Aerial Additive Manufacturing, or Aerial AM for short. Taking inspiration from bees, these drones work together to autonomously print and repair various designs. Two types of drones, build drones and scan drones, perform the tasks of placing materials in flight and measuring print quality respectively. They dynamically adjust their methods based on a real-time assessment of the geometry of the printed structure, maintaining impressive manufacturing accuracy of up to 5 mm. The drones use four specially formulated cement mixes. Engineers anticipate that such autonomous drones will reduce future construction costs and risks, especially in hard-to-reach or hazardous locations. College engineers also unveiled a robotic arm with a proprietary RGBD machine vision system. It allows the robot to work accurately and methodically on any objects that are chaotically placed in front of it. The system can accurately estimate the location of multiple objects using real-time multi-view vision. The robot then moves and RGBD accumulates estimates of the object's positions from different positions and combines them. The BitCraze team, creators of the Crazy Fly Quadcopter, showed a fully decentralized drone swarm at ICRA 2023. In this dynamic demonstration, Crazy Fly drones autonomously flew along random trajectories, avoiding collisions and charging wirelessly using the QI Deck system. Positioning calculations are performed on board using the Lighthouse system. Peer to peer communication allows each drone to adjust its trajectory based on the position of the others. Also, at its booth, BitCrace presented a novelty, a small and inexpensive drone called Flapper Nimble, with an original structure and wings similar to a bat or a butterfly. At the ICRA 2023 exhibit in London, you could see the French developers from Pollen Robotics and their robots, Ricci, with the traditional pinstripe paint and an unnamed robot prototype avatar with 8 degrees of freedom and a tablet instead of a face. By the way, everyone was able to play the latter. Something new is that Ricci got a wheelbase, lidar and other sensors for mapping its surroundings and free movement. It also reported that the robot was programmed with ROS-based Python, which allows it to manipulate objects and communicate with people. Previously, Ricci was controlled only remotely and served as a research platform for roboticists and psychologists as it tried not only to interact with objects, but also to evoke emotions, mainly tenderness. Thus, at ICRA 2023, we saw humanoid robots, robot dogs, mobile robots, robot avatars, and even flying 3D construction printers. Watching the rapid progress of high technology, it seems that there are no limits to what humans can achieve. What do you think? Subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the incredible changes and the world of robotics and AI. Also join us on social media.